Hi, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams. My goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to own uh, your own home selling, buying, and investing goals. Today's topic is five no-cost tricks to sell your home faster. Again, Thanks for taking the time to watch this. And before I get started into the blog, I wanted to point out two features on the site. So first is a, a super cool tool that you can use to get a free instant home evaluation. And then second is our buyer site. Uh, this link will bring you to real-time listings for all homes from all brokerages across the entire Wasatch Front. So back to our topic free tips and tricks okay so you have decided now to sell your house and you can't wait to buy a new place there's just one thing standing in your way you've got to close the deal on your current one first you just hope it doesn't take months to get an offer you want to sell your house fast and you want to sell it for more money well there's one tried and true trick that's proven to reduce the amount of time that your home's on the market a study by real estate staging association found that homes staged before listing received an offer just 23 days on average. That's 90% 90, uh, 90 faster than those who waited months after their listing to bother staging. Number one, I want you to tune into your neat freakness. You always knew your tidying tendencies would come in handy one day, right? Not, it, it's time. It's time to clutter bust your way through to the buyer's hearts. Pay particular attention to junk vortexes such as kitchen and bathroom counters, fireplace mantles, laundry room, pantry shelves, tabletops, bookshelves, magazine racks, yeah, lots of clutter there. Number two, rearrange the furniture. Once all the clutter's out of the way, take a step back and look at the big picture. Does your home invite buyers to sit and stay for a while? Can buyers flow freely through your home without bumping into things? And if not, well, you have some work to do. Start by putting bulky pieces of furniture into storage and moving furniture away from the walls. Many times the room is put together for kids so they can play in the middle of a room uh, or, or the TV can be seen from every chair and sofa. Buyers want to walk in and see an open yet intimate space that inspires conversations. If you have a fireplace, why don't you go ahead and make that the centerpiece to which furniture points toward. An experienced agent can lend a fresh eye and help you reimagine your home. Go to each of the rooms with your agent and see if there are pieces that you can repurpose for other spaces if that's needed. Number three, I want you to think like a buyer. You see, cleaning your home for home showings is common sense, but many folks actually underestimate just how clean it needs to be. This isn't your run-of-the-mill weekend tidy up. Think of it as spring cleaning on steroids. You gotta think about what buyers look for and get down to the nitty gritty so that even the smallest details shine, from ceiling fans to floorboards, from window blinds to window sills, tile grout, tubs, sinks, we have to scrub them all. Number four, here's a tip. Set the table as if you're gonna have company. See, staging paints a picture for potential buyers so that they can envision life in your home. If I see that a family can live here, have com company perhaps, then I think my family can live here too. Nothing represents family and company life quite like the dinner table. So break out the good stuff. Add some seasonal flair with a dash of bold colors. Keep things simple, right? So just set two to four places out um, or arrange some decorative centerpiece on top of a neutral uh, table runner. And if you need some ideas, check out Pinterest and House for inspiration. And number five, bring the outside in. Make your house feel like the home by taking advantage of what's in full bloom right outside your door. Fresh flowers are very inviting. They warm up a room and send a message that this is a really nice space to be in. If plucking decorations from your yard isn't an option, then stop by your local flower shop or the grocery store. If you do have a few bucks to spend, you may want to consider spending it on paint and mulching in the front yard. Buyers give you about three seconds to make the sale. Well, six seconds, okay? Three Three seconds from the curb and then another three seconds from the foyer. So mulch and fresh paint will go a very long way. And of course, every home is different. So before you spend one red cent freshening up your casa, ask a real estate agent you trust for advice. You see, a true pro knows what buyers in your area want and can help you maximize your home's appeal without breaking the bank. And as usual, give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions real estate related. And if you're dying for me to cover a topic I haven't covered yet, please let me know. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video blog.